Okay, in this lecture we're gonna prettify the calculator. So we're gonna change some fonts and some colors, okay? Because we want something that looks a little bit more similar to this right here. Now, the colors of the calculator don't have to look like these at all, okay? So we can work on any colors we want. However, we want to have bigger fonts, right? In the first place, because we want to be able to see it better. So let's do this right now. So go to Xcode and select all the buttons. You can just click on one button and then click on all of them one at a time or you can select the buttons here with the shift key pressed down okay so i'm selecting all the buttons that say one 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 and so on okay now i'm going to go to font and click here i'm going to pick a system font okay and actually system bold so it's actually going to be bold okay uh, which actually going to look bigger okay and the point size i'm going to increase the point size to probably a size of um, 35 okay so write 35 here and click on done Okay, as you can see, it's already a lot bigger. Okay, um, now you guys can run this and see how it does. I also want to change this right here. I don't want a zero to be that small. I want a bigger one. So the font, instead of 17, I'm going to put something to also 35. Uh, that might be a bit too big, so let's say 30. Okay, and click on done. As you can see, zero appears here, and um, it's a bit bigger. That's perfect. All right, now you guys can keep playing with... Um, with uh, whatever um, uh, attributes you see here, okay? You can also add a shadow offset if you want to. Um, you can have a different mode for the view. You can center it to the, you can put it to the center, or align it to the left, and so on. Um, but that's gonna be enough for me so far. I do wanna change the text of each of these to the text that we have here, okay? So it needs to say seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, and so on. So I'm gonna work on that, it's pretty easy. Just click here. Okay, and type right here in the attributes, type seven, okay? Then pick the other one. Okay, and then type eight. Then pick the next one, type nine, okay? Then the next one is the division sign, okay? So um, I'm actually just gonna put this sign for the division, okay? The American way of showing it, okay? Now this is gonna be, um, four, five, six, okay, so type here four, then five, then six, okay, it's pretty straightforward, right? All right, then we have, I believe, the multiplication sign, yep, okay, so write the, basically the cross, you can type an X here for multiplication, all right, then here there's going to be, um, one two three so i'll leave, leave the one here then put two and then three okay and then it's going to be the minus sign okay so put the minus sign okay and here it's gonna be zero dot equal plus so zero dot equal and the plus sign okay so at this point uh, we're done i want you to click on the play button and make sure that everything works and appears the way it's supposed to okay okay so press play and uh, wait for a build succeeded and then all right here it is and now again it's going to run in the simulator okay Excellent. So far, so good. Everything works just the way it is. Now, feel free to play with the, the fonts. Feel free to play with the, um, the size of the fonts, the uh, colors, anything you like. It's up to your imagination. There, nothing can stop you here at this point. So, see you guys in the next lecture.